Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. It's time now to talk about organizing text in our document by moving it or copying it. And you may already be familiar with some of these commands if you've used other Microsoft applications, because cutting text, copying text and pasting text pretty much works exactly the same way in Word as it does in other applications. So if you know what the keyboard shortcuts are for these commands, then they're the same in Word. Now, in this example, again, I've just created a practice document, and this is a very straightforward document. It's just one page long. We have a heading at the top, and then we have various different subheadings throughout this document. Now, currently, this document is completely unformatted. I've simply just typed in the text, and I haven't really styled it up yet. So currently, when we're trying to read this document, things like headings don't really stand out from the paragraph text. Now, when it comes to applying headings in a document, the best way to do this is using styles. And we're going to get onto styles in a later lesson. But just for argument's sake, in this particular lesson, I'm going to apply to some basic formatting so that these headings and subheadings stand out. So this is where we get to practice some of our selection methods. Now, the title is going to be the biggest, so let's select it by clicking in the margin. And I'm going to make this a bit bigger. So let's take this up to 20. And I'm also going to make it bold. I'm then going to select the subheading video by clicking in the margin. And I'm going to hold down my control key and select all of the other subheadings that we have in this document. So now that I have them all selected, maybe I want to make these slightly bigger. So let's take those up to 12. Maybe I want those to be bold, but maybe this time I want these to be red. So now at least I have a little bit of differentiation between my main heading, my subheadings and my paragraphs of text. So already this document looks a bit more organized and it is definitely easier to read. Now that we have headings and subheadings in our document, you might think that this means that you can now use those headings to navigate around this document. What you'll notice is that if we open up the navigation pane and take a look at the headings group, it's not listing out those headings or subheadings. And that's because Word currently doesn't recognize these as headings and subheadings. Because to do that, we need to apply styles to our headings, as opposed to just applying what we call direct formatting, which is what I did just here. So keep that in the back of your mind for a little bit later on. So now that we have this document organized a bit better, we might review it and think to ourselves, well, actually, I want to start moving some of these paragraphs around. Maybe the video section needs to go before where we have online video. So I can move this text into the correct location. And of course, as with everything Microsoft, there are a couple of different methods that we can use. So with the text highlighted, what I could do is I could jump up to the home ribbon and in the clipboard group, I could choose to cut this text. And notice there is a keyboard shortcut for this, which you might already be familiar with of control X. So if we click on cut, it's going to remove that text that we selected. And that cut text is held on what we call the clipboard until we choose to paste it somewhere. And if you want to see the clipboard, you, you can simply open it by clicking on the diagonal arrow in the corner of the clipboard group. Notice that the text that we just cut out is now sitting there waiting for us to do something with it. Now you can work with this clipboard open if you like. Some people really like this and it is useful if you're cutting lots of things, you can store them all on the clipboard and then choose which ones you want to paste. So I'm going to go down to just before online video. So about there. And what I could do here is I could choose to paste it from the clipboard or I can choose the paste button up here. Now in this example, we're going to paste it from the clipboard. So let's click the drop down and choose paste. And that's now inserted that paragraph in that new location. 
What about if I now decide that actually I want this video section to go after online video? Well, I could move it again by using the method that we just used, or alternatively, I can simply drag and drop it. So this is a second way that you can move things around in your document. I can highlight the text and then I can simply click on it and drag it and place it wherever I want it to be. So if I place it at the beginning of themes, it's going to insert that paragraph. So another really simple way to move things around in your document. So that's moving text. But what about if I want to copy text? Maybe I decide that I want to copy this first paragraph down to the bottom of the document. Well, again, on the home ribbon, we have a copy button. Shortcut key, control C. So let's select this first paragraph. This time I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut, control C. Notice that it leaves it there. I can then use my shortcut key, control end to jump to the bottom of the document and I can simply paste that copied text in. Remember, whenever you cut or copy something, it's going to be held on the clipboard. And there you can see the last thing I copied. So I could choose to paste again from the clipboard or alternatively, I have a paste button just here and I can click the top half just to paste that in with the original formatting. Now, what about if I want to move multiple items that aren't together? So maybe I want to move this styles paragraph. So let's select it. The online video paragraph, let's hold down control and select that. And also the themes paragraph. Again, hold down control when you're making your selection. Now I'm going to move these. So I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut control X. Again, notice it's held them on the clipboard. I can then move to whichever point in the document I want to paste them. So let's just do it at the end. And I can paste directly from the clipboard or simply use the keyboard shortcut key, control V. And the clipboard really does come into its own when you're gathering lots of different items together. So if I select the cover page paragraph, let's press control X to grab that onto the clipboard. And let's choose the views paragraph, control X to copy that to the clipboard. And then finally, let's choose the styles paragraph, control X to copy that to the clipboard. I can then choose where I want to paste these. So if I want one of them just in here, I can simply move my cursor there, select the item from the clipboard and choose paste. I can then move down go to the next location and choose something else that I want to paste from the clipboard like so. So the point I'm really trying to make here is that clipboard is so useful if you're trying to manage and organize items that you've cut and copied from the document. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there and Click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.